Hi students. Today we are doing the exercise 2.2 of class 10 CBSE. These are the exercise 2.2. Here we want to find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial and uh, verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficients. First question is p of x is equal to x square minus 2x minus 8 here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 c is equal to minus 8 is it coefficient of x square is 1 coefficient of x is minus 2 constant term is minus 8 here sum is equal to sum is equal to minus 2 and product is equal to minus 8. To find the numbers, find the factors of 8, 1 into 8, 2 into 4. We have minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. Minus 4 into 2 is minus 8, isn't it? That we have studied in the video first. Therefore, p of x is equal to x minus 4 into x plus 2. Write x, write the first factor. Write again x, write the second factor. Second factor is positive here. To find zeros of this polynomial, put p of x of is equal to 0, which implies that x minus 4 into x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 4 or x is equal to minus 2. x minus 4 is equal to 0 means x is equal to plus 4. x plus 2 is equal to 0 means x is equal to minus 2. Therefore, the zeros of this polynomial are 4 and uh, minus 2. Now, let me take each zero of the polynomial as alpha is equal to plus 0 that is 4 and uh, beta is equal to Second zero that is minus two. Now sum of zeros is sum of zeros. Sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus beta. That is alpha plus beta is four plus minus two. That is two. Here two can be written as minus one into minus two divided by one. That is uh, minus 1 into coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x squared, isn't it? Now product of zeros, product of zeros is zeros is equal to alpha beta is equal to alpha is 4 into minus 2 that is minus 8 and minus 8 can be as minus 8 by 1. That is uh, constant term, constant term, term divided by coefficient of x square, coefficient of x square. Here the constant term is minus 8, coefficient of x square is 1, isn't it? And uh, minus 8 term represents minus 8 by 1, that is minus 8 is the constant term divided by coefficient of x square. Here the constant is minus 8. Why is the x square is 1? Isn't it? Next question is 4 s square minus 4 s plus 1. Here the variable is s. Isn't it? Now a is equal to 4, b is equal to minus 4, c is equal to 1. To find 0 of this polynomial, put p of s is equal to 0. That is 4 s square minus 4 s plus 1 is equal to 0. Then it can be written as 4 s square is 2 s dot 4 square minus 2 into 2 s into 1 plus 1 square. Now it is in a standard form. A square minus 2 into a b plus b square which is a, a minus b the whole square. Isn't it? 
Therefore, they can return as a. Here a is to us minus b is 1. The whole square is equal to 0. That is uh, 2s uh, minus 1 into 2s minus 1 is equal to 0. 2s uh, minus 1 is equal to 0 or 2s minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2s is equal to 1 or 2s is equal to 1. Therefore, s is equal to 1 by 2 or s is equal to 1 by 2. Here, the two zeros are same. Now, when we take first zero, it is alpha, that is 1 by 2. And second zero is also alpha, that is also 1 by 2, isn't it? Now, sum of zeros, alpha plus beta is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, that is 1. Here, a is 4, so it is 4 by 4. And uh, 4 by 4 is 1. And 4 by 4 can be written as minus 1 into 4 divided by 4. That is minus 1 into coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. Isn't it? Minus b by a. Minus b is minus 4. By a is 4. Minus 4 by 4. Now product of zeros. Alpha into beta is alpha is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is 1 is coefficient constant term. 1 is constant. Constant term divided by coefficient of x square. Coefficient of x square. Isn't it? Constant term divided by coefficient of x square is the product of zeros. Thus we can find relation between sum of zeros and product of zeros and the zeros of the Third question we have done in the video class. P of uh, u is equal to the variable is u. 4u square plus 8u and it can be written as 4u square plus 8u plus 0 is the standard form. So a is equal to 4 b is equal to a c is equal to c. To find the zero of this polynomial, p of u is equal to zero, which implies that 4u square plus 8u is equal to zero. Here 4u into u plus 2 is equal to zero. That is 4u into u, 4u square, 4u into 2, 8u, isn't it? So 4u is equal to zero or u plus uh, 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, u is equal to 0 by 4 is equal to 0. Or u is equal to minus 2. These are the zeros. u is equal to 0 and u is equal to minus 2. Now, Now alpha is equal to 0 and uh, beta is equal to minus 2. Alpha plus beta is equal to 0 plus minus 2 which is equal to minus 2. Here a is 4. So multiplying by 4 in the numerator and denominator minus 2 into 4 divided by 4 that is minus 1 into 8 divided by 4. So, minus 1 into 8 is coefficient of u. Coefficient of u divided by coefficient of u square. Isn't it? Coefficient of u divided by coefficient of u square. Similarly, alpha beta is alpha into beta is 0 into minus 2. 0 into minus 2 that is 0. And 0 can be written as 0 by 4. Here 0 is the constant term. Constant term divided by coefficient of u square. Constant term divided by coefficient of u square. In the last question, uh, here you write coefficient of s divided by coefficient of s square, isn't it? Similarly, constant term divided by coefficient of s. s square, not s. s square. Next question. Fifth question. Fifth question, the variable is t. Here 
क्या p of t is equal to t square minus 15 so it can be written as t square plus 0 t minus 15 so a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 c is equal to minus 15 to find zeros of this polynomial p of t is equal to 0 which implies that t square minus 15 is equal to 0 so t square is equal to 15 therefore t is equal to square root of 15 which is plus or minus root of 15 isn't it? so the zeros are root 15 and minus root 15 therefore alpha is equal to root 15 and the beta is equal to minus root of 15 sum of zeros Sum of zeros alpha plus beta is equal to root 15 plus minus root 15 that is 0 and here a is 1 so 0 can be written as 0 by minus 1 into 0 divided by 1 minus 1 into 0 is 0 0 by 1 is 0 minus 1 into coefficient of t here coefficient of t divided by coefficient of t square, isn't it? And product of zeros is product of zeros is minus uh, alpha is root 15 into minus root 15 that is minus 15 and it can be written as minus uh, 15 by 1 so minus 15 is the constant of that divided by coefficient of t square not u square coefficient of t square isn't it and the last question is p of x here the variable is x so 3x square minus x minus 4 so a is equal to 3 b is equal to minus 1 c is equal to minus 4 to get the zeros of this polynomial p of x of is equal to 0 it implies that 3x square minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 here sum is equal to minus 1 coefficient of x and product is 3 into minus 4 that is minus 12 so the factors of 12 are 1 into 12 are 2 into 6, 3 into 4. Here we can use these factors. Minus 4 plus 3 that is minus 1, minus 4 into 3 that is uh, minus 2, isn't it? So here it can be as 3x square. Minus x can be as minus uh, plus 3x minus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. From these two terms, 3x is common, then we have only x and uh, here it becomes 1. Minus 4 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now x plus 1 is a factor. x plus 1 into 3x of minus 4 is equal to 0. That is x plus 1 is equal to 0 or 3x of minus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, x of is equal to minus 1 or 3x is equal to 4, therefore x is equal to 4 by 3. These are the zeros. Here the zeros are minus 1 and uh, 4 by 3. Now let me take alpha is equal to minus 1 and uh, beta is equal to 4 by 3. Sum of zeros is alpha plus beta is minus 1 plus 4 by 3. Now cross multiplying minus 3 plus 4 divided by 3 that is equal to 1 by 3. Here the denominator here a is equal to 3. So it can be as minus 1 into 1 by 3. That is minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 into minus 1, not 1. 1 by 3 minus into minus minus plus minus 1 into minus 1 is coefficient of x coefficient of x by 3 is coefficient of 
get square isn't it now product of zero says alpha and beta here alpha is minus 1 into 4 by 3 that is minus 4 by 3 minus 4 is the constant term divided by coefficient of x square constant term divided by coefficient of x square isn't it this way we can find the zeros of a polynomial and also verify the relations between the zeros and the coefficient isn't it in the second exercise of 2.2 we have given the sum and the product of some quadratic polynomials. We have to find the polynomial. Now let us discuss how to find the polynomial if sum and product of zeros are known. Okay. In our first question, sum alpha plus beta is equal to 1 by 4 and alpha beta is equal to here the denominators of alpha plus beta and alpha beta should be same to make the denominators same minus 1 can be as minus 4 by 4 now we can find a a is equal to z sub minus b by a that is c by so a is equal to 4, b is equal to minus b is 1, b is minus 1. So the polynomial a of x is equal to the general form of the quadratic polynomial is a x square plus b x plus c. So a is 4x square, b is minus 1 in b x plus c is minus 4. So 4x square minus x minus 4 is the polynomial. Isn't it? This way we can find the polynomial in all these cases. In the second question, alpha plus beta is 4 and alpha beta is 1 by 3. Now to make the denominator as 3, multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 3. That is 3 root 2 by 3. So this is minus a by a and this is c by a. Isn't it? Now a is equal to 3. Minus b is equal to 3 root 2. Therefore b is equal to minus 3 root 2. And c is equal to 1. Therefore the polynomial is 3x square plus minus 3 root 2 in the x plus 1 that is 3 x square minus 3 root 2 in the x plus 1 is the polynomial follow this now third question in the third question alpha plus beta is 0 and alpha beta is 5 Root 5 can be as root 5 by 1 and uh, 0 can be as 0 by 1. This is minus b by a and this is c by a. So a is equal to 1 minus b is equal to 0, so b is equal to 0. 0 has no sign and the c is equal to C is over. Therefore, the quadratic polynomial is 1x square 0x plus root 5. So, x square plus root 5, isn't it? This is the polynomial P of x. Now, fourth question. Fourth question alpha plus beta is 1, alpha beta is 1. So 1 can be written as 1 by 1, similarly here also 1 by 1. 
So what about a? A is one. Minus b is one. So b is minus one. C is equal to one. C is also isn't it? So one x square plus minus one in the x plus one. So x square minus x plus one is x. X square minus x plus one. Now for the first. In the alpha cross here, alpha cross beta is minus one by four. Alpha beta is also one by four. Here, this is minus b by a, and this is c by e. Here, when a is a is equal to four, b is the minus b is minus one, so b is one. C is also one, isn't it? Now, four x square plus one x plus one. That is four x square plus x plus one is the required polynomial, isn't it? Now we have only one more question. Sixth question. Alpha plus beta is four, and alpha beta is one. So we can write it as one by one. Here is four by one. This is c by a. The same denominators. So a is equal to one. Minus b is equal to four. So b is equal to minus four. C is equal to one. So here it becomes one x square minus uh, plus minus four in the x. Plus one, so it is x square minus four x plus one, isn't it? This way, if we know the sum and product of zeros of a quadratic polynomial, we can make a polynomial, isn't it? I think you could understand the problems of one and two in exercise two point two. If you find any difficulty in any problem, then don't hesitate to ask me. Okay.